All right, it's the middle of June. We're gonna take a quick look at the orchard. We just had a bunch of rain yesterday, so everything's still nice and wet. Um, pear trees, you can see. Pears are looking fantastic. Getting to be a good size there. And uh, everything else is looking pretty good. I'll have to do a more detailed inspection on everything just to see how everything's looking but um right now it looks good cherries you can see obviously are in coming close they're still probably a week or two away um this variety is a very dark it gets very dark i don't know if it's bing but it looks kind of like bing because they get very dark almost black and they are very light red and if this were a rainier cherry that would probably be ready but it's not so it looks tempting and even like a week later it still looks like oh perfect but it still has a way to go so uh apparently though no, not for the birds they've been eating some um, a lot of them here so as you can see we got a lot of cherries and <clears throat> like i said do the pruning and stuff um we can see them a lot easier unfortunately so can the birds but it make it a lot easier to pick on them for when we when we're ready to do that so anyhow those are the cherries um our apple tree we haven't, I honestly haven't really looked in there much because since there's no fruit, um, I haven't been in there to like do anything to it, to thin it or whatnot, but I, the tree looks overall still okay. I do need to go in there and like check stuff out. And uh, our peach tree is still kicking, looking um, overall good. I was noticing a couple things when I was taking some pictures first. Um, there's definitely some yellowing of the leaves. The new leaves are, are yellowish here and then like down here um, I'm not sure what that's about and um, I also noticed that there's some some of this goopy stuff here coming out of the peach and um, That's the part that really bugs me. I don't know that Indicates something funky is going on there. Maybe an insect went in and um, or maybe a bite of an insect or something, and the peach is sending that goop out. I don't know. I've never, I don't recall seeing that before. So I'll have to look into that because that does not look um, good or appealing for sure. So anyway, other than that, they're looking good size. But we're just gonna see what's going on. Could also be something with all the rain. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, go have to do a little investigation into that. But there's definitely lots of peaches under there. Um, so we'll just have to look into what's going on. Um, okay, so then our other pear tree, same thing, looking good. Lots of this vertical growth, which I need to get rid of. But other than that, okay. Pears are there. Pears still growing, still getting bigger. And our apricot, speaking of getting big, is looking very large. Um, I'm going to try to do a little more thinning today and probably be the end of it because it's very time consuming and tiring and very difficult when a tree is so large. But you can see this is the size of most of the fruits. We see there's still some that are clustered up, which we didn't get to thin out. So I need to really get in here. Unfortunately, like I said, it's going to be a lot of work and, uh, very difficult to reach some of the stuff so we'll just have to kind of see we'll do the best we can but anyway that is it for the uh, fruit trees this week um, once again as you can see from here those cherries are starting to go that was going to be the next thing to harvest probably within the next two weeks I would guess um, we'll have some and then uh, we'll go from there all right thanks for watching